Hi there everyone, my name is Chris, welcome back. In today's gear video we're going to be taking a look at the Platatac Tactax Mark II in Cryptek Highlander. These are a, a combat cut trouser that bear more than a passing resemblance to the Cry Gen 3 combat pants. And obviously when I say bear a passing resemblance, I mean they are pretty much copies. Now I'm not even sure whether they are still in production. Um, Platatac happened to be having a sale on their website so I picked a couple of pairs up uh, to have a look at. Good, the thing I personally really like about these is the fact that they are that cry cut and I'm like they're pretty much exactly the same as the cries uh, but you can obviously get them in some other patterns from Platatac. It's particularly the Cryptek camos which overall makes a pretty awesome package to my mind. Uh, made in Australia, Platatac do some really nice gear. Highly recommend checking out their website and the shipping to the UK and to Europe is actually not too bad at all. I found it's quite a bit cheaper than shipping stuff from the US and Platatac are fairly generous on the quotations as far as uh, declaring the values are concerned and by that I mean they are of course uh, deadly accurate to all you customs officials who are watching this. So yeah we're going to put these down on the tabletop and uh, we'll show you just how similar these are to the Croix. So to start off in the ankle area you've got your Velcro adjustment tab so I can tighten the uh, bottom of the trouser around your boots and we've got a reinforcement on the inside of the leg. I would guess that's where the, the two areas here are going to rub together as you're running. And I'm not 100% sure, but I'm presuming that's what that's for. Next there is a lower ankle pocket for your sort of smaller-ish kind of items. Velcro closure, a slight pleat, sort of a half billow as it were. No, no drainage hole on that one. Working along the back, just with tabs so you can tighten down your knee pad. If you so choose, uh, one of those on each side. A little plat attack PVC label there. Velcro closure tab over the rear pocket. Got your stretch fabric. Belt loops, very, very large belt loops on this. A lot of padding in the rear of the uh, actual waistline itself. Velcro adjustment material tabs for the waistline. Reinforcement in the seat, the main side cargo pockets themselves, again Velcro, nicely sort of all contoured the cut of this, uh, there's quite a lot of time and effort gone into production of these, you can see some extra like reinforced stitching just there, again a sort of a half billow, slight pleat, no drainage hole, nothing in the way of extra tabs for securing uh, magazines or items inside those pockets, and then you've got front pocket again billowed sitting just below your standard sort of civilian trouser style pockets so certainly no shortage of storage space velcro at the top of the zip fly closure ykk zip not quite as nice as the cry zip but we're talking a minor detail here fair amount of extra reinforced stitching on the belt loops quite wide belt loops got hang loops uh, just below the the two front Bell loops, there's your little Cryptek tag that you get so you know you've got the real deal in terms of the fabric. There's the knee pads, I'm not 100% confirmed right now whether these take cry knee pad inserts. When you buy the Plat Attack, it actually comes with a set, unlike Cry, um, and they're pretty much like the Cry AC or Gen 2 pads. You've got a You've got your stretch fabric and your blanking pleat. So when you want to insert a knee pad, unvelcro that, tuck the actual flap out of the way, which is just wanting to stick to my gloves right now. But you can see where you uh, insert your knee pad there. Velcro on the inside, it, you know, this is very, very much a, a very close homage to the cry trousers, no doubt about that one, guys. Stretch material, as per the cry Gen 3s, uh, in between the legs and the groin area. Not quite as much reinforcement to the stitching around the knees area. There's a, there's a little bit extra fabric in this particular section around the pocket. A bit more sewing going on here. But overall, there's a, there's a slight, slight drop in sort of the amount of reinforcement and stitching versus the cries, but it is very minor. And that, I think, covers about all the features there, guys. All right, guys, so that was the overview on the Platatac. Tactax Mark 2s. 
Peter's on the Cryptak Highlander, fantastic alternative to the Craze, uh, just as good, I would say, really, especially for the, the sort of hobby user. Australian, like the SASR and guys like that, tend to use a lot of plat attack, so yeah, but it's certainly not a bad pedigree at all. If you like what you've seen today, guys, please do give the video a thumbs up, uh, share with anyone you think might be interested in the gear. Uh, appreciate that. Facebook and Instagram, down in the description box below. Obviously, I'll put a link to the Plat Attack website. Daily updates and all that social media stuff. And uh, thank you again for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.